sounds, and bougies. A metal instrument for urethral exploration is commonly termed a sound, though a bulbous bougie may be metallic, while a flexible instrument made of woven silk and varnished is called a bougie. The best woven instruments are made in France. In order to spare the patient's meatus, I have all my sounds above 24 French size made with double taper. Figure one. American custom favors the use of the single curve sound, figure one, while European custom favors the double curve or banique instrument, figure six. After many years use of the former, I have discarded them in favor of the latter. Conical woven bougies, figure two. These should be olivary tipped. Inasmuch as they are used to dilate strictures up to the point where steel sounds may be used, one should possess a complete set from 10 to 20 French size. The neck of the instrument should be quite flexible. Bulbous bougies, figure three. Bulbous bougies may be flexible or metallic. The best French makes of flexible bougies are almost as durable as and more useful than the metallic instruments. Figure one, double taper sound. Figure two, Oliveri bougie. Figure three, bulbous bougie. Figure four, Coleman dilators. Coleman dilators, figure four. These are useful for dilating the urethra while sparing the patient the insignificant operation of meatotomy and also to carry dilatation to great lengths. The Oberlander, Frank, and Thompson dilators are inferior to the Coleman. The best models of these dilators are made of pure nickel by Gentile in Paris. The nickel does not rust and the instrument may therefore be sterilized by boiling. This dilator is made in several designs, some of which have irrigating attachments. The two types illustrated are the ones generally employed. Filiform bougies, figure five. Filiform bougies are made of whalebone or of woven silk. Figure five, whalebone filiform and tunneled sound. Figure six, woven filiform and Janet sound. Their average size is three French. They should be olive tipped. The choice between whalebone and woven filiforms is largely a matter of taste. Both are fragile, liable to break off in the urethra, and therefore old, frayed, and ragged filiforms should be instantly discarded. Inasmuch as filiforms are used chiefly as pathfinders for larger instruments, the choice of filiforms depends largely upon the instruments which are to follow. Two combinations are possible, viz. the whalebone filiform and the tunneled sound, figure five, the French woven filiform and the Janet sound, figure six. The excellence of our whalebone instruments and the difficulty of obtaining satisfactory woven filiforms have made the whalebone tunneled sound combination the popular one in this country, in spite of its mechanical inferiority. Footnote, the rough eye of the tunneled sound scratches the urethra, slips with difficulty over the filiform, and bends or even breaks this in the urethra, complicating the already difficult situation by the addition of a false passage or a foreign body. The combination of a good woven filiform and a Janet sound a set of these should contain at least every alternate number from 10 to 20 French, is better, both because of its smoothness and because the filiform may be tied into the urethra until, by repeated dilatations, a sufficient size shall have been attained to ensure the patency of the stricture.